in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a database using Microsoft Access and create a table and also create fields in your table in the database I'm opening Microsoft Access this is the layout of Microsoft Access 2013 and from now here I'm going to open a new create a new blank database when you create a new blank database you get a screen whereby you have to give your database a name and then you will save it in my documents So in this tutorial I'm creating a database called students. It will be saved in my documents. So now on this uh, screen you have to specify my documents as your storage folder so that students file uh, which is your database can go to to my documents and whatever you do in the database will be updated in that file students as you can see the file name there says students and then you just have to navigate and choose documents so that you save it there and then you click ok button So now you see that the students database is about to be created so you want to create it so after setting up the name of the database specifying where you want to save it then you can click create so this is a message that says the file already exists because I previously created the students file so I will just click yes to update it, it's fine. So now it takes you to a datasheet view. So when you click create this screen that you see here, it's a screen that shows you the table that you have to work with in Microsoft Access because Microsoft Access actually creates tables that is where you are going to save your records and then we say it's a database and from all those list of records that you have saved you can decide on what to do with them because now you have information in your database so without a table you cannot have a functional database so that is why Microsoft Access by default it creates a table for you as you can see here it's written table 1 and then uh, by default it created only one column ID because you understand that a table has columns and rows so it shows me that there's a table by default created and the table is uh, table 1 it's written there and then the the columns in this table 1 is only ID so now you want to create your own table according to your own uh, preferred uh, design so or you are given a table to create in a database then you have to modify this one so it means now you have to go and design it because this one is data sheet it's a it's the one that has been designed by 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 microsoft access for you so if you look on the left here i've got a view tool that you have to go to because that is where you will have two options you'll have data sheet and you'll have design when you click that small view there that view with a small arrow pointing down you will get two options it's either you want to see data sheet or design those are the two important options as you are starting to create a database 
data sheet is when you are uh, uh, ready to see how your work that you are creating looks like design it's when you want to see the screen that will help you to create it's actually when you want to design something then you have to change the layout to design but uh, if you want to see what you have designed, how it will look like at the end user's site, you'll have to go to data sheet. Data sheet is only when you say you are done, you want to see how the user will see it. Remember, you are the creator, so the user will have to see it uh, as the work that uh, or the product that is finished that they can use. So because you are designing, then you will have to go here, like I said, because you're designing you have to go there and now you will choose design because you want to design this table you have to change the view from data sheet to design because now you are not looking you don't want to look at the finished work you have to create something because you don't have a table actually then we are going to click design So when you click design, it asks you which table are you designing, table name, save as what. Then you see there, we still have table 1. Uh, that is why you have table name, table 1 is the one that we are designing. So it's either you are going to change the table name or you leave it as table 1. You click OK, it will take you to design view after you clicked OK there. I just clicked OK then it took me to design and then under design there I see that ID as a field name so this portion here under field names here is where you're going to write all your columns that are going to be part of the table and then all of them they will be as a list going down because you are actually providing Microsoft Access with all the columns that it must use to create a table for you this layout that you see here is not a table this is where you give microsoft access information so that it can generate a table for you uh, at the background then you will see it in data sheet view like i shown you i've shown you there where we navigate between data sheet and design so you are giving microsoft access information on the column names field name means column name so you list all the column names here going down then the second part this side in the middle here it's data type each and every column that you type there on the left then you have to specify what type of information goes in that column so that the user when they key in in a database uh, they will see that this is this type of data this one is this type of data like for instance if we have uh, something that says mm, mm, currency uh, like we have a uh, fees uh, discount bonus those column names are actually currency but if we have student name employee name car name though the data types now will become text uh, if we have a serial number ID number the data type will be number so the data types you don't type them you change them uh, I'm just going to show you an example as I'm going to fill in the data type as I continue now So as you can see, I've keyed in all the field names. 
I've keyed all the I've changed all the data types according to what that name um, that field name appears how how it appears so if you have a student name you can't say it's a number because a name is alphabetical letters so it will be text short text say name also short text because it's only one word they are both one word student number it's a number as you know it in real life a uh, student fees that one is currency it's money so you change it to currency if we had other things like registration date you, you change the data type to be date you change it you don't type you change there you see the drop down arrow then you choose the data type you choose the data types you don't type them you only type the column names you choose the data type according to the column name then the third one that says description it's optional so we leave it blank for now it is not important uh, for this uh, uh, tutorial video tutorial and then I'm going to save the work that I've done then I'm going to explain what is a primary key so you see above file there I'm there then I click the button save it has updated everything in the file that I created in the beginning called students so everything that I do it is updated in that file so now there's a key if you look at student name there there's a key small key icon of a key next to it that key is called a primary key a primary key it's a tool that will help you to make Microsoft access aware that the information that goes to that column where there is a key that information will never have duplicates when we say duplicates we are uh, talking about information that is repeating so as we are going to have many students captured in this table what we are saying is that if we put a key next to that column those students will never share anything that like the same information concerning that column now you see the keys next to name if we leave it there what we are trying to say is that there will be no student sharing a name with the other student and we know that if we put it there now it's wrong because students share names you find that there is Stephen appearing twice uh, another name called uh, Mary appearing twice in real life if we are going to use this database for students you there is no way that students can have names that are not the same as their other fellow students we have many Josephs we have many uh, uh, Stephen and uh, uh, Sarah and so on so I'm going to remove that key and put it on a field that I know that this field contains unique information that is how actually a key is put you put it on a column that you know that in real life this column will only have unique information so that is when you want to make use of a primary key you don't put it anywhere and say it's there you have to put it on a field that is going to uh, be used normally to search in the database when we want to search for uh, a student later we will use that uh, field uh, to search from for 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 uh, for the information using it because we know that that field contains unique information so obviously it will be student fees uh, sorry uh, student number not student fees it will be student number so if I'm going to put it on student number this is how I'm going to do it look at what I'm going to do What I did now, I clicked the small key and that field name is highlighted. Just by clicking that small key, the whole field is highlighted. And up there, there is a key, big key called, it's written primary key on the tools. So because the small one is highlighted, then I go and click the big one to remove this small one. That is how I remove it from there. So you don't drag it and, and try to drop it somewhere. You click that small one 
you go and click the big one there. So as I click the big one, the small one disappeared. Then I go to student number. I click student number. Then I go and click the big key. And now the key is now applied to a student number so now i'm done i want to save my work the database is refreshed then i want to see my i want to go and see my table in datasheet view as the way in which the user will see it as they are capturing the records now Now you can see the case is blinking, waiting for the records to be punched in. Remember, you are still designing this table to look nicely. Those column names are short. They need to be adjusted so that they can be clear. You have to, now what you have to do, because you are in data sheet, you have to adjust your column so that they can be clear. And then the user can be able to use the column um, the table to capture the records because the columns are clear so I'm going to adjust the column headings okay so now this is a database that is created now we are in data sheet view you can capture the records and when you are done you capture the second one going down and that is what we are going to do in our next video tutorial so this one is in data sheet you just save and then you can be able to capture the record that is our next thing thank you for watching this tutorial next tutorial I'm going to show you how to print the records after we have captured them and also how to print the structure uh, to give us information on how our table was created. Thank you.